Today, we are diving into a topic that's crucial for every healthcare practitioner who sees patients for their gut health. Helicobacter pylori, commonly known as H. pylori. This bacterium is a significant player in various gastrointestinal diseases, including ulcers and gastritis. Despite its prevalence, detecting and managing H. pylori infections can be challenging. In this video, we're going to explore the diagnostic methods available for identifying H. pylori, from non-invasive tests to invasive procedures. Let's get started. So what exactly is H. pylori? H. pylori is a gram-negative bacterium that infects the stomach lining. It's extremely prevalent globally, affecting up to 50% of people. While many carriers of H. pylori remain asymptomatic, others can develop inflammation, and diseases like gastritis, peptic ulcer disease, duodenal ulcer disease, even cancers like gastric cancer and malt lymphoma. H. pylori is transmitted through various routes, including oral-oral and oral-fecal, commonly occurring between family members and in areas with inadequate sanitation. The bacterium is well adapted to survive in the acidic environment of the stomach. It releases urease, a compound that alters the pH around the bacterium, protecting it from stomach acid. H. pylori's flagella allow it to move toward the stomach lining cells, where it attaches, releases toxins, and causes inflammation and disease. Let's talk about the symptoms. Although many carriers of H. pylori are asymptomatic, when symptoms do occur, they can include burning abdominal pain, loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, indigestion, acid reflux, heartburn, gas, bloating, frequent burping, and iron deficiency anemia. Now, when it comes to diagnosing H. pylori, we have several diagnostic options categorized into non-invasive and invasive methods. Non-invasive tests include the urea breath test, stool anti-gen test, and serology. Invasive tests primarily involve endoscopy with biopsy, histology, culture, and rapid ureus test. The urea breath test is the most reliable non-invasive test. The patient ingests a urea solution, and after 15 minutes, a breath test measures carbon dioxide levels, indicating the presence of H. pylori. The urea breath test is highly accurate, with a 95% sensitivity and specificity rate. However, medications like proton pump inhibitors, bismuth, antibiotics, and herbal antibiotics can affect the test's accuracy, so they should be avoided for two to four weeks before testing. The stool antigen test uses fecal samples to detect H. pylori antigens. It's highly sensitive and specific, but like the urea breath test, its accuracy can be affected by recent antibiotic or PPI use and gastrointestinal bleeding. PCR techniques can also detect H. pylori in stool samples, providing detailed genetic information about the bacteria. Serology tests detect anti-H. pylori IgG antibodies in blood. However, since IgG antibodies can persist after an infection has resolved. These tests cannot distinguish between past and current infections, making them less desirable for clinical diagnostics. Invasive tests involve endoscopy with biopsy. During this procedure, an instrument is inserted into the stomach and duodenum to visualize the gastrointestinal lining, and tissue samples are taken. These samples are then tested for H. pylori using various methods like histology, culture, or rapid urease test. Histology is considered the gold standard for direct H. pylori testing. Biopsy samples are stained and examined under a microscope to detect H. pylori cells. However, recent use of PPIs and antibiotics can affect results, and H. pylori's uneven distribution in the stomach lining can also pose challenges. Culture involves placing a biopsy sample in growth media to assess H. pylori growth. This method can also test for antibiotic sensitivity, which is crucial in areas with high antibiotic resistance. The rapid urea test uses a urea test reagent that converts to ammonia in the presence of H. pylori, detected by a pH monitor. It's quick and inexpensive, but less accurate in the presence of gastric bleeding. Choosing the right diagnostic test depends on the patient's symptoms and history. The urea breath test and stool antigen test are excellent for non-severe cases, especially in pediatric patients. For suspected severe conditions like bleeding ulcers or gastric cancer, endoscopy is necessary. These tests are also valuable for monitoring treatment efficacy. 
Once an H. pylori infection is confirmed, treatment typically involves a combination of antibiotics, PPIs, and sometimes bismuth. First-line treatments include clarithromycin triple therapy, bismuth quadruple therapy, and concomitant therapy. Follow-up testing with urea breath test or stool antigen test ensures the infection is eradicated. An accurate diagnosis of H. pylori is essential for effective management and preventing severe gastrointestinal complications. Staying updated with the latest diagnostic technologies and guidelines will enhance your ability to detect H. pylori accurately and improve clinical outcomes for your patients. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more medical insights.